We've had some people ask for some additional information about how to stand up from a front float. We've put this together. We hope you find it useful. So we'll start with me. This is me floating. I pull my knees down. I'm really pulling them towards my chest, but they're coming down with my hands falling behind me. I'm going to extend my legs down to the bottom as if I'm standing up or about to stand up at a funny angle. And then I'm going to push my hands down and I'm going to push my uh, knees and hips forward as I try to raise my back up from the push. So pushing down, knees and hips go forward and I'm just standing up. That's a simple stand up motion. So one more time, knees down, extend legs, hands down, stand up, boom. So that's a way to do it, extending your legs. There's a way to do it without it, and we'll show you that with Patty. This is Patty's float, and Patty pulls her knees all the way in. She never extends her legs here, and she pushes her hands down at the same time she extends. So let me back up a tiny bit. Legs in, and watch her hands as she starts pulling down, and she just keeps pulling those legs in, rotating, until she's ready to stand up, and then she stands up. Here again, knees in, with rotation, knees in, pulling in. She's holding here just so we can see that she's holding here, and then she's pulling her hands, but she tends to do it at the same time, she's just breaking this up for the view. Nice, clean, easy pull, whether you extend your legs further down or don't. Very nice. So let's talk a little bit about some of the gotchas that happen in this process, because there are several along the way. So one is that while you're floating, you're in this position, you push down with your hands, but you don't do anything with your back. You just leave yourself floating here. So you've got to pull those knees forward. And as you push down, you've got to work on getting your head up, your hips down and forward so that you can stand on top of yourself, if you will, or put weight up on top of your feet. So knees all the way in. I'm pulling these down and in this case, I'm going to show extending those legs like before. This just gets the start of this. Now what you're wanting to do is lift your back up and get your feet, your hips forward so they can be over your feet. So in this case, what we'll see slowly is that, and you can watch as the distance changes here, but I'm pushing down right about now. You see my head starting to come out of the water. You're going to see I'm trying to lift up. You're going to see my hips move forward as they move towards that light. And now I've got my shoulders over my hips with my feet down. The weight of that's pushing me down towards the bottom to make it easy for me to stand. That's what we want. One of the other things that we see frequently is people who can float, but they're not comfortable with it. So that once they pull, start to pull their knees in, and they feel the balance change in the float, it'll wig them out a little bit. And so they get scared and can't continue with this. So one of the things that we recommend for them is that you find something you can hang on to, some body, something stable. Pull your knees in, see what that feels like, see how you get adjusted. Put your legs back out, push them back out again, back into your float, feel the adjustment that happens there. Pull those knees in again. You see I drop a little bit with that. See what happens. Push the, leg, push the legs back out again over and over until you get comfortable that the water's going to hold you up in that space. Some people have the same kind of trouble as they drop their hands down. They think the float's going to change, and indeed there is some movement for them. So you want to make sure that you're comfortable with that float and comfortable with those movements and that will make this much more successful for you. Um, the other thing that happens is if you try to do your recovery with your legs sticking out here, 
It's not going to work. It's not going to be successful. It's just too much effort, and there's just too much of too long a lever back here. It'll keep you from being able to spin. So, knees in, crank them on down if you want to do it Perry's way, uh, and then wait, push down, and stand up at the same time if you want to do it Patty's way. Pull your knees in, keep them coming as you push down. Roll them forward. We wish you the very best of luck with this skill. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. It's a YouTube channel. We're here, so there are a few things we need to say. You should like and subscribe to keep up with us. Ring the bell so you know when the next video comes out and share with your friends. If you've got comments, let us know. We will respond to your comments. Uh, we have merch down at the bottom. It's not anything as cool as this, but it's the newest versions of these things. And uh, we have a lot of other social medias like... Facebook. And TikTok. And Instagram. And we wish you years of comfort in the water.